Smash drunk. Welcome back to Secretive Mana. I don't know why this mana is so secretive. Perhaps that's the point of the game. Perhaps we will eventually find out. Anyway, we have been abandoned by um, our female friend that helped us out of a boiling pot of stuff. And uh, about to be eaten by goblins. So uh, sh she left. So in the meantime, we're hanging out with sleeping goblins and mushbooms. And uh, trying to find our way to this underground palace. I mean, we're underground. Bound to stumble upon a palace down here, right? And in the meantime, we're going to level up to level 6. I'm almost kind of dreading this uh, next part. That came from a mushroom. I don't want that treasure. It's poison. I'm almost kind of dreading this uh, next uh, section because... Um, as much as I love the soundtrack to this game, uh, the next section has some of the most annoying music ever. Well, maybe not ever, but it's it's irritating music. And we get the magic rope, and that is um, like the magic mirror in Link to the Past. Uh, use uh, and not literally, you, you use it to, uh, to uh, return to the beginning of a dungeon. At least I think. I never use it. Should I sit here and try and level up on these guys? There. See, I got one of them, and they immediately reproduce. It's ridiculous. It's a waste of time. Um, okay, there's a stairway down here. So, Yeah, I think the magic rope brings you back to the beginning of a dungeon or castle or something. I can't remember. I never use it, whatever it is. Ah, nice. Oh, and we have an area dedicated to killing these things. So if you want, you can hang out here and level up. The thing is, is that these things are unpredictable and they attack like assholes. Um, and you get poisoned very quickly and very easily. So I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to go uh, down here. Give me more sleeping guards to thwack. Love that sound. And one more down here. Yeah, I was thinking the... Obviously the main character here, he's got the, the chrono hair. It's a little bit longer and, and the part is farther on his left. Um, le a little less spiky, but still spiky nonetheless. Still has that chrono vibe. And then... Uh, the female character in this game, who I named Penny, is pretty much a dead ringer for Marl or Marley. I think it's just Marl, isn't it? Is the E silent? Anyway, screw all that. Let's. <laughs> we got another little stage here. You can do a little karaoke thing. <laughs> and uh, we got a stairway here that does not go to heaven. It doesn't go anywhere. We gotta go to this stairway. Ah, another skull. To fracture. Anything over here? No, I can't even go over there. Hm. Wow. No, we don't have the at. Or uh, I don't want to give anything away. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. This freaking music is so irritating. And hey, these guys aren't enemies. And my sword is automatically put away for some reason. It means we are among friendly peoples. Doing magic tricks. Like David David Copperfield, does he have his own island? Hmm. Well, no shit, Sherlock. It's an underground palace. That's a pretty cool helmet. It's like a cow skull helmet this guy's got. Here we go. We've got the sword orb. So, he can take it and restore it accordingly in a matter of seconds. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> seeped. And now our sword is a healthy silver color. As a sword should be. So, let's check out some stuff. Let's talk to some people. Yeah. Happens when you live in California. What do you got? Okay, we've got uh, a lot of expensive stuff, but some very useful things here. I like how the store has, like, weird items that, like, like the rabbi cap and the robe. What the hell? What the hell are those? I guess I'll get some headgear. Yeah, as you can see in the middle there, uh, I guess you see my head. Obviously, those are the uh, items that apply to me. And when you have other people in your party, their heads will respectively show up uh, in the middle there, too. Power wrist. Not even sure how much that matters, but whatever. Let's sell some junk. Get rid of... I want to keep the hair ribbon, because what's-her-name's coming back soon enough. And get rid of one of these elbow pads. Keep the other one for now. What else is going on in this uh, dank little town? Hmm. What do we got over here? What's up, dude? <laughs> Have you been next door? Don't mind me as I block this pathway. There's nothing over here. You need to go next door. Please go next door. Have you been next door? Huh. It's with a giant tablecloth. Yeah, sure. Got nothing else to do. Except look for the underground palace, but whatever. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> Cute. Ah, uh, yes. The same scam you hear on public transit every day. I only need $300 to pay my medical bill. You see him again two weeks later. I only need $300 to pay my medical bill. Two weeks after that. I only need $300 to pay... It's like, people aren't that stupid. Okay, here we go. <laughs> he was crying. Uh, what the hell? Oh. Yep, sure did. Yeah, where is this sprite guy from, anyway? Yeah, I got all my money back. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Nothing else? That's it? Okay. Well, let's go over here. Oh, cool. It's another one-man show over here. Do a little Axl Rose action. Sorry. <laughs> that's, a, that's my go-to uh, um, song in karaoke. I've only done karaoke a couple times, but if they have Guns N' Roses, especially if they have Don't Cry, gotta do Don't Cry. Just because at the end, when he does the for like seemingly like two minutes. Uh oh. I recognize that music. It's boss music. That must be time for a boss. Looks like these monsters have followed me, followed the monosword in here. Hey. Damn, looks like I can't sit there and charge. But I can at least hack and slash at this guy. Yep, that's all you do. You just... He spits out a little bouncy ball that explodes. You can dodge it. It doesn't really do that much damage. And you just hack and slash your way to victory. Hack and slash away all of your problems. 
Order now and you'll get a free power wrist and you'll have a little sprite guy to follow you around. But wait, there's more! Pretty easy boss battle. I remember my, watching my brother get to this point and it was like such a huge deal. I think it's the, the music, personally. The music makes this like a thousand times more stressful than it really is. It's a pretty freaking easy boss fight. But yeah, as, as you can see, that sword upgrade gave us ten more hit points. Um, yeah, I was dishing out 21s and 22s, 23s outside before I got my sword uh, polished up. How did I miss him? There we go. And he explodes. If you hit him enough times with a sword, he will explode. That's video game logic. Specifically, early 90s video game logic. Ta-da! Way to go. Hey, that's a nice little bonus. Eh. Aha. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you know, I never noticed that. It broke out of a sealed palace. That means there must be a way in. Why didn't you tell me something about that then? Oh, because it's quote-unquote buried, so you can't get in there, so this monster must have plowed its way out. Hmm, okay. Well, there's only one thing to name him, and that's Clyde. Name him after my dog. They're the same color. That's that Clyde dog. Oh, well, that's no fun. Can <laughs> ask her to... Okay. So, yeah, here's where we got to go back to the stupid... Uh... Oh! I forgot. This is when we get the bow and arrow. Now we need to get Penny back and equip that on her. But we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.